News for all of us wondering what is ahead after this topsy-turvy spring weather. Well, today the nation's top weather scientists announced they believe in the months to come we're in for extreme heat and drought. Though in the meantime, everyone is still weighing in on the contest. How cold is it? And here's our submission tonight. That is maple syrup. It's clear when it leaves the tree, but as you can see, it is frozen in place, a sweet icicle, and you could pretty much ice skate on a sugary little pond inside that bucket. ABC's meteorologist Sam Champion has the strange sights and more. Winter was warmer than average for most of the country, but now that spring is officially here, it seems more like winter than winter did. Look at the signs. Washington, D.C.'s cherry blossoms, usually a sight to behold by now, now on hold. Maple syrup should be flowing right now, but look, the taps are frozen. And at this winery in Minnesota, after one of the wettest winters on record, snow covers the vineyards, delaying wine production. So what to expect for the rest of the season? NOAA just released its spring outlook. Despite the cold, much of the country's feeling now, get ready for some spring heat. With above average temperatures in most of the country, while below normal temperatures linger in the Pacific Northwest. And don't expect extreme drought in the Southwest to improve. Drought conditions will get worse from Florida to Texas, NOAA says. And from one extreme to another, river flooding along the Mississippi, Missouri, and Ohio rivers expected to be worse this year than last. With areas like Fargo, North Dakota expecting one of the worst flood seasons ever. There is some good news in this spring outlook for the southeast because of the wet last few weeks. They're starting spring with no drought issues at all, but 51% of this country and most of it is the west remains in drought, either extreme all the way to exceptional. And it looks like they'll stay that way through this spring, Diane. All right, out in the biting cold for us tonight. Sam Champion, thank you, Sam.